Hey, I'm Ted Vieira. And, uh, you know, it was a while back, I was listening to this interview. Um, it was more or less a conversation between two photographers. And uh, the topic of street photography comes up. Now, one of the guys is clearly a street photographer and uh, speaks very positive, very supportive of the genre. But um, the part that surprised me <laughs> was the other photographer. Basically, he thought that, uh, man, if you're doing street photography, you're just being sneaky, right? <laughs> and not like in a positive way, not like, you know, you're being stealthy, you're getting into the scene, you're not disturbing the scene, uh, you want some authenticity in your photograph, you're just trying to document, you know, what you see. Um, not, not good sneaky like that, but bad sneaky like, <laughs> you're just being sneaky, man, you're being creepy, you're taking people's photographs without their permission, right? In fact, he even thought that, um, and not that he wanted to see this happen, but he felt that street photography as a genre um, was eventually going to go away, uh, at least from a legal standpoint, because of privacy issues and then people's rights and things like that. And like I said, he, that's not what he wanted to see happen, but he just felt that was what uh, that was where we were headed. Um, and I don't think that's going to happen, and I really hope that doesn't happen, because I think street photography is very important, and um, I'll tell you why. If you look back at, at guys like Henri Cartier-Bresson, you know, who uh, back before it was even called street photography uh, was taking these photographs, um, Robert Duano, this is his work. Um, these guys were going around um, taking, you know, documenting basically what society looked like during these years. And I think that's extremely important. You guys got uh, guys like Robert Frank, um, this is work from his book, The Americans. And I think without this kind of photography, to be able to look back at, would we'd, it'd be a huge loss because this really helps us get a visual sense and, and even a feel for what kind of things were happening um, in society back during these years. So is street photography creepy or important? Well, I think, you know, it's important. If you're shooting ethically and respectfully, um, you're not doing anybody any harm. And you are documenting, providing visual documentation of what things are like right now. And that's very cool. You know, even if your street shot doesn't seem important today, I mean, it might have cool composition or some nice tones, or maybe there's some humor in the story there or something. So it's kind of cool, but maybe it doesn't, doesn't seem that important to you today. Uh, it might be one of those shots that ends up in a book, right? And, and that people see 50 years from now and look at and go, wow, 2017, man, you know? Very cool. Street photography is very important. I hope it never goes away. Um, you know, can it be creepy? Yeah. Don't be a creep. <laughs> Don't be a creep, man. Shoot respectfully. Shoot with ethics, right? Don't make it creepy. Make it important. Okay. Hey, I did want to give you one tip uh, today. And if you are, you know, wanting to get into street photography, but you are uncomfortable photographing, you know, strangers and things like that, um, photograph scenes, right? Because um, photographing scenes, you can still get some really cool shots, some really some moody stuff, and still, you know, provide some kind of visual documentation for what uh, what you're seeing out there. So photograph scenes. All right. Hey, I'm Ted Vera. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.